Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Lizzie and in today's video I have got a Zodiac's prediction for February 2020. Uh, now I will say um, it doesn't just include February to be honest, it will be pretty much relevant whenever you watch this video, energy is fluid. Uh, feel free to watch for not just your sun sign but your moon sign and your rising sign. If you don't know what those two are um, I'll leave a link below so you can go and check out for, to calculate your birth chart. You will need your time of birth. But I would recommend you watch all three of those, your sun, moon and rising, and just pick whichever one resonates with you guys the most. This is going to be a general reading for February. So yeah, timestamps will be linked down below. To start off with, I'm going to just be using the traditional Rider Waite Tarot deck and then I have all of my decks here next to me so I can uh, pick and choose any extra ones that I feel I needed during the reading. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys are interested in private readings, I have started doing those now. You can either email me uh, or check out my Facebook page and message me on there. The links to those will be down below as well in the description. All right, thanks for watching guys and let's get started with Aries. So, Aries predictions for February. So far we have the Strength card come out. This is also Leo energy, it doesn't really matter the sign though. So the Strength card is all about being like silently strong. It's not about being able to physically overcome uh, challenges. It's about being able to overcome like mental challenges and being able to uh put yourself out there and stand up for yourself and stand up for what you believe in and also just be very kind and gentle with yourself and other people around we have the ace of wands which talks about initiating new beginnings and we also have the three of pentacles so there's definitely some sort of new venture for you guys in february which is needing you to have a little bit of courage when it comes to uh, pursuing this adventure. This is something potentially for a few of you which is in the public eye uh, and this is something in which you will gain some sort of public recognition for. We also have the Two of Cups. Uh, this talks about partnerships, romance, relationships Ooh, and we also have the Fool. Definite new beginnings for you guys, new energies going on for you guys in the month of February and you're needing to Take that leap of faith and initiate something and really go for it and put your all into it and be dedicated and work for it. And then at the bottom we have the magician. Manifest this life that you want for yourself. Manifest this new beginning that you want to have for yourself. February is the time. Well, it's always the time. But now is really the time to just take that leap of faith and trust and trust in yourself. What's this Two of Cups about? Let's see. Is there a relationship on the cards as well for you guys potentially in February? I'm feeling that this relationship is not going to come in though until you are able to take this leap of faith and initiate this new beginning for yourself. Why is this Two of Cups here for you, Aries? Yeah, we have the Two of Swords. So that's two twos on top of each other. So definite um needing to clear your mind in regards to this decision it's not necessarily that you don't know um what actions to take or how to move forward or what it is you need to do it's kind of clearing that mental chatter in your mind um any self-doubts any lingering fears and reservations about initiating it's like you know what to do but there's something in your mind that needs to come into balance uh in order for you to go forward and achieve these things and we have the nine of cups underneath showing that you will be prosperous you will be successful you will be abundant in these new pursuits but you need to just calm your mind and trust in yourself basically yeah there's um a lot that's been going on in your head recently, a lot of doubts and reservations, but with the Four of Swords here, it's telling you that you need to clear your mind of those, uh, meditate, 
just relax stop stressing yourself out i'm hearing that a lot of you guys are too in your head about the future and how you think your future is going to be and you need to sort of get more present and in the moment and just think about things that you can do today and stop stop and smell the roses stop and just take time out from your worries and anxieties of the future we have knight of wands in reverse so yeah there's something that you need to be initiating and your mind's keeping you a little bit oh that's way too many so how can aries overcome the this mental blockage and we have the empress just initiate basically just create that new beginning for yourself the empress is very independent she's very uh, a lot of you guys will want to be doing pursuits like on your own working on your own working for yourself and um, creating your own business starting your own venture of some kind um and you need to sort of just go for it and take those steps calm your mind calm those thoughts and those worries and just take that leap of faith and go for it have the courage and have the strength to move forward with it and what will be the outcome when aries is able to do this so we have queen of cups which is like balancing those emotions coming into um harmony with yourself and with your fulfillment yeah and then temperance as well uh again balance harmony and we have the six of one so victory and success recognition like i said some of you guys will start to see other people will start to see you other people will start to notice your work other people will start to recognize the impact that you are making and other people will start to see uh the hard work that you've been doing and start to see how successful you are really but there's this this there's just this element of facing your fears which still needs to be released but the only way that you are going to, like you don't have confidence before you do something. You have confidence by doing it and failing but continuing on. Like nobody is good at something right from the start. Nobody is super confident in what they do right from the start. It takes time, it takes practice, it takes development. So you need to just take that leap of faith. It's like that saying, you know, if you wait to feel ready you're never going to be ready because no one ever feels ready for new ventures but that is what the strength card is about and what this moon card is about is pushing yourself through those reservations and through those fears anyway in order to get you to where you want to be so that is that that's all i have for you guys aries okay uh don't forget to check out your uh, other signs your moon sign and your rising sign or your sun sign uh whichever that is and yeah if that resonated with you guys aries then please hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more because i post videos on here pretty regularly now all right thanks aries bye okay taurus Let's see what is in store for you guys in February for Taurus. My mum is a Taurus, so I know she will she will be watching this. Hi, mum. Taurus, February. Let's see. We have the Ace of Wands, and this came out in the Aries reading as well. Needing to initiate something, needing to take that step and put yourself out there and initiate something new in your life. We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, need to put yourself out there a little bit more. Expose yourself a little bit more. Um, that is too many cards. Show the world the real you. 
there's something within you guys that you're suppressing in some way there's something within you guys some sort of creative endeavor uh, for a lot of you guys there's something that you're not doing and not pursuing and there's something that you are just needing to just begin um even if it's not necessarily like career there's just some sort of hobby or there's something that you guys need to be um doing and yeah the magician card again popped out in the aries reading um there's something that you need to manifest in your life some sort of new beginning that you need to actively do to create in your life the emperor aries energy some of you guys could definitely have strong aries in your chart um but the emperor is about taking control taking control of your life and the situation and taking charge and having a more it represents like the masculine energy and like masculine energy is all about action and dedication and i feel this is the energy that you guys have been in this four of cups you've been a little bit still and you're needing to just start getting more start yeah start to get more out there that's a lot of cards but we'll see there's that four of yeah you've definitely just been in this energy of contemplation for too long and stillness for too long and you're needing to get yourself out there more try new things and um, create some sort of new hobby or new thing for yourself new venture for yourself and the night once again came out in the aries reading you see me shuffle these i put these back in random um yeah again taking action moving forward creating something new in your life we have the Ten of Swords, but it came out in reverse. Some of you guys have been a little bit anxious uh, recently, anxious about your life and your like direction and life path. But I feel this time of anxiety is going to be over soon, especially if you are able to take this action with this Ace of Wands. We also have Temperance, which came out in reverse. So there's something within your life that's a little bit off balance still and again i feel it is to do with this action that needs to be taken let's have a look so this seven of i wasn't going to take these ones but this seven of sword i it fell out before and i saw it and so i had to take it again um the seven of swords is all about deception like where are you deceiving yourself in regards to something in regards to maybe something that you should be doing with your time and with your energy something that you are putting your energy into which is not fulfilling you it's not serving you um you're almost being persistent with it and persistent with trying to make this thing work that doesn't necessarily want to work and you're putting too much energy into that um the queen of uh, pentacles tells us that you will have that uh, financial stability, that security, that comfort, that um, that leisure that you Tauruses absolutely love. Um, I mean, don't we all? But uh, this this comfort right here is what you guys like. Earth energy, this groundedness. And this is very much here for you. But there's still something that needs to be initiated. There's some way that you need to step out of your comfort zone and need to move forward and something that you need to pursue so keep that in mind um let's do if for you guys that are maybe a little bit unsure of what this thing is we'll do um how can tauruses expect to find out what this new venture is so we have the six of pentacles Ensure that you are being generous with your time, energy and money. Doing good deeds for other people helps you feel good. Uh, brings a lot of good karma and good balance to your life. Okay, that was a lot of cards. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't as many as I thought. So we have the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. So we have the Nine and the Ten. The Ten is in reverse, but you are 
needing to just do more like i said put yourself out there a little bit more um and just try new things i'm hearing for you guys you have been getting messages you have been getting messages about what new things you should be trying what ways in which you can be putting yourself out there and you're kind of not doing them um you're you're comfy where you are you're in your comfortable zone and but you're not realizing by staying in that comfortable zone that's actually what's causing this slight anxiety about the future this slight anxiety about your direction in life um and you're needing to just do more try more things do more step out of your comfort zone move away from things that you are you know are not serving you and you know that are not working for you and yeah move move forward with your life and just i'm really getting that you guys have yeah you've been getting the messages of what they are but you kind of just brush them off quite quickly so i'm gonna leave that one there for you guys taurus to ponder on uh, if that did resonate with you guys, please hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned because I post on here pretty regularly now. So yeah, thanks guys. Okay, Geminis. I am a Gemini rising, so hi to all my Gemini friends. Um, let's see what is in store for you guys for the month of February. Straight away, we had the Three of Wands. About making plans for the future, setting a course for yourself, set, like I said, making plans, but sort of envisioning uh, steps in which you're going to take, how you're going to move forward. Gemini's for February. We have the Five of Swords. You're looking at your past and looking at what didn't work for you in the past. But you're looking at it in a way of not like negativity and feeling, it's not like Five of Cups energy where you're sort of wallowing in your past and not recognizing that the two of cups is still there it's kind of like because you have hold of the three swords it's kind of like you're looking at the past you're looking at what didn't maybe work for you or what ways you needed to grow and change of how you needed to um be in this two of swords energy to gather the rest of your three swords and to move forward so we have um I was going to say we had two threes, but obviously that's the five of uh, swords. We have the moon. The moon is all about facing your fears, going within. We have the chariot, taking action, um, listening to your intuition and taking action and letting your intuition and letting your inner compass guide you in the direction that you need to take. You're no longer in a phase of staying stuck ace of swords and five of wands you could feel that there is a little bit of conflicting energies um it's like you are sure of yourself now you're sure of what ways you need to move forward with your life um there may be some people around you who don't necessarily agree with those ways or want to there could just be a few like little arguments disagreements um conflicts of some kind with other people in terms of your decision to pursue this uh, course of action to make these plans for your future but you must stick your own ground with these because at the end of the day it is your life and not anyone else's yeah and you will really start to see the fruits of your labor you will really start to see um manifestations from this uh, action that you choose to take 
from this new beginning that you are deciding to create for yourself and not it's by creating mental clarity it helps you to move forward in the physical world by clearing out your mental space first So what else is in store for Gemini in February? We have the Four of Pentacles. Finances might be a little bit scarce, sparse, what's... <laughs> One of those words um you might be a little low on your finances this month um and you might be like really wanting to hold on to anything that you have um might have a few money concerns this month but uh overall it's all going to work itself out like at the end of the day this this sort of phase is not going to last forever for you guys it's just while you are in this um, initiation phase. We have the four of wands. I did see it in reverse, but I'm going to put this one on pause for a second and pull the rest of the cards and see. The four of wands is about union, completion, um, you know, closing out cycles and coming into balance and harmony within one's own self. And I think this is really the energy that you are moving into this month. Uh, we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This guy has come out in like Gemini, uh, Gemini's, uh, Aries and Taurus's reading as well. So we are all nearly really needing to put ourselves out there and initiate something and just take those big leaps of faith and just move towards our actions and ambitions because ultimately this is going to bring you this Ten of Cups energy and this Magician card as well has popped out in the last two as well we are all in a phase of needing to manifest our like futures and our lives and start taking a uh, dedicated action towards that there may be some sort of tower moments for you guys um where you just feel as though the old is being dismantled around you but that's only so that uh this new life can be created for you guys What else is in store for Gemini for February? We have two fives, so definitely big changes going on for you guys. Uh, the King of Swords. Yeah, learning how to stand your ground and be more honest with yourself and more honest with the people around you about who you are and what you stand for and what you are wanting to create in your life so yeah and putting dedication and effort and commitment into uh this new beginning that you are trying to create for yourself yeah and the universe will really bring you some uh good karma from this will bring you some justice will bring you some uh like i said fruits of your labor before and will really You will really start to see the benefits of your hard work. And we have the judgment card as well. Bottom of the deck, we have the six of wands. So victory and success is yours. Um, public recognition as well for your hard work and your um, dedication and commitment to yourself and to your own goals and your desires. So what, yeah. So really making plans for yourself this month and really taking action towards those, uh, what is in store for you guys. I, yeah, I really do see you guys coming into balance with yourself. I did not, I don't wanna take this as in reverse. I, I really feel this is meant to be in the upright position. So really coming into balance with yourself and who you are this month. So really nice reading Geminis. Um, I hope that resonated with you guys. Don't forget to check out your other signs if you haven't already. And if that resonated, hit that like button and subscribe because I post on here pretty regularly now. So yeah, bye guys.
Okay. For my cancers out there, let us see. Let let us see what is in store for you for February. February. I was gonna say two thousand nineteen then. February 2020. What is in store for cancers in 2020? February 2020. I'm picking up on an, 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 on an energy, wow, that you guys have been a little bit unsure of yourself. Maybe I have been stumbling with my words a little bit uh, for you guys already because you guys are needing to express yourself more uh, this month. You guys are really needing to express yourself in terms of other people and being really authentic with not just yourself but those around you and expressing your views and opinions and desires to those around you this month. Not being afraid to uh, show the world the real you, not being afraid to, yeah, really just be authentic with those around you. Stop worrying about judgments of other people. Stop worrying about what other people are going to think or say or criticize in any way. Um, because at the end of the day, those who truly love you and appreciate you will always stick by you no matter what. Um, Don't know where that came from, but yeah, there you go. There you go, Cancers. So we have Page of Wands. I cannot even remember what I said about the start. Feeling unsure of yourself, what did I say? I'm sure it'll come back to me. <laughs> we have the Five of Pentacles. So you are needing to uh, step out there, step out of your comfort zone. Uh, you guys have been through it a little bit recently, maybe uh, just since the start of the new year you've been through it a little bit you've been you face some difficult times especially in terms of finances for some of you guys they've been a little bit uh short um but it's because you're needing to come into your own you the page of ones is somebody who is not afraid to take that first step they are not afraid to put their hand up and offer to go out on that venture that nobody else is willing to do. They are, the, they are not afraid to put themselves in uncomfortable positions and take that first step towards an uncertain journey and an uncertain future ahead of them. They are just sort of, fire energy is very much act first, think later. And this is kind of what you are needing to embody to help you um, fully get out of this five of pentacles energy we have the justice card this came out for gemini's as well yeah there will be some sort of justice and balance brought back to you guys for some of you guys in terms of there's some sort of legalities in some way even if it is not necessarily something that has been taken to court and has been taken um there's some sort of legalities for some of you guys, I'm getting something to do with children, maybe some sort of um, shared uh, custody uh, is the word I was trying to use. Or There's something to do with uh, children and there will be some sort of justice uh, brought to you guys about that. It really does depend on each individual situation. Um, but you will get some sort of resolution but again it's, it's it all comes when you are willing to also step uh up for yourself a little bit more we have the four of swords and um, yeah but definitely if something is to do with like the court or some sort of legal matter of some kind um, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's going to go in your favour. I'm not going to say that it's not going in your favour, but there will be a resolution. Uh, I, I'm not, I cannot tell you which way it's going to go because this is a general reading. Um, 
but it feels like that's going to come to a close that's a specific message for a few of you guys um yeah something's going to finally come to a head we have the devil we have the ace of pentacles we have five of wands so yeah the five of wands talks about like battling with other people little petty arguments little disagreements um stuff like that so this could very much be a theme could go along with that justice card just have patience with them uh try not to succumb to any kind of toxic energy any kind of gossiping and complaining i wanted to use a different word but that's not really appropriate for youtube um try not to succumb to any lower energies uh try not to allow negativity and toxicity to take over your mind and really stay balanced in this situation in regards to this four of swords you know take your rest time meditate pray um really take time to reflect on situations do not let negativity and toxicity overcome you Some of you guys you need to put yourself out there in terms of a new job there's a new job that you are needing to apply for what else is in store for cancers big month for you guys so far this magician card he's been out in every reading so far so this is clearly a big theme for all of us we are all needing to actually take these steps to manifesting the life that we are wanting. Whatever it is we desire for our futures, for our lives, um, we need to actually take active steps toward those. It's no good to be in, in an energy of thinking about what you want, daydreaming, daydreaming about it. You need to actually move forward. You need to take some steps. Small steps every single day are still steps in the right direction. No matter how small, it's still movement and this is the energy that we are all needing to be in so whatever it is um for some of you guys it is work related uh whatever it is you need to take action on it even if you are not able to get that job this month or um manifest whatever as long as you are actually moving forward doing your research on how you are supposed to move forward what it is you need to do and doing your research and like i said taking a step in the right direction because ultimately this do by doing this and ten of cups this is going to lead you to fulfillment happiness this is like the happy family card this is going to leave you like joy and completion and bring you balance in your life so take that as it resonates cancer uh that was pretty big energies for you guys this month um don't forget to check out your other signs as well if you haven't already. If that resonated with you guys, please hit that like button and subscribe because I post on here pretty regularly now. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye. Hi Leos and welcome to your February reading. Let's see what is in store for you guys. Uh, I'm a Leo moon myself so yeah we'll see what's in store. For Leos for February. I'm picking up on big change energy for you guys this month. Big changes. Some sort of recognition as well as coming to you. Ace of Wands. This guy wants, to, like, there's th this guy, the magician, and who else? There's another card, and they have just been out for every single reading so far. So, definitely needing to.
put yourself out there, initiate something. We are all kind of in this energy recently where we just need to initiate this new beginning for ourselves. We need to just put ourselves out there and try new things, go new places, meet new people, um, and put ourselves out there in terms of our passions and ambitions and what goals do we have? What do you want to achieve in your life? And then we have the Ace of Pentacles there. So that's two aces right next to each other. Um, you know, what do you want to achieve in like your life? How do you want to be making your money in the future? What job is your ideal job? Start planning all these things and start taking action towards them and start doing them. Uh, for some of you guys, you are doing that. You are taking these steps. You are doing them. And this is why I'm picking up on big changes for you guys. For those of you who aren't, get on it. <laughs> We have uh, the Fool, he landed in reverse, I don't really know, uh, we'll see how I feel about him, the Fool, I'm going to put him upright for now, um, but yeah, just taking those leaps of faith, um, the Fool can sometimes have a bad rep, but the Fool is, like, he has blind faith, he just, he takes that leap, and he, you know, is about to walk off that cliff without any cares in the world of, how he's gonna land, who's gonna catch him, like what is going to, what like fate is gonna be bestowed upon him. He just has blind faith that all is gonna be fine for him. And he's just merrily walking on his way. So like this is what the universe asks of us when we see the fool, it asks us to just take that leap and not worry so much about the consequences in the future and what's gonna happen. Just take that leap anyway and find out. You only find out through experience. So, Again, I'm picking up on two energies, two energies and the people that are doing this and are working on this this month and the people that are needing to and needing to initiate this and do this. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is going to turn out to be very fulfilling. Uh, this is in terms of new career for some of you guys. Um, majority of you guys, this is going to be something that is, like I said, how are you going to make your money? What is going to be your dream job in the future? So it's going to be fulfilling, it's going to work out for you guys, it's going to be really uh, abundant for you guys in all ways really, the nine of pentacles, the woman in it, she's like on par with a queen, you know, she's, it does not matter about genders, you know, she is, she's hard working, she's dedicated, she's committed to her goals, you know, she's independent, she does all this, she has all this on her own, you know, she don't need no king, again, gender specific, like, doesn't matter, um, but she doesn't need anyone else. She's independent and she does it all for herself. And she does it for herself, like for her own benefit, for um, her to be who she is. You know, she's a really great energy and it's a really great card to get, followed by the King of Swords. So yeah, really being honest with yourself and those around you. And then we have the Queen of uh, Wands underneath. Uh, so really being honest with yourself and those around you now about uh, what it is you want to pursue, uh, what life you want to have for yourself, what direction you want to take your life in and really being authentic with those around you and not settling for less and settling for what other people might tell you is more practical or more logical. We have the hanged man. So learning how to see things from a different perspective, becoming enlightened as well, I was hearing. There's that Queen of Wands again. So taking action, being ambitious, being courageous, this is fire energy, you know, being uh, dedicated and confident in yourself. Confidence is a big thing. Uh, Leos are very confident people anyway, but I think sometimes underneath they do actually suffer with some slight insecurities and self and like self doubts and I don't want to say it's all a show because Leos are very confident but there is that little element that still doubts yourself and you need to live up to that outside persona of that confidence and just have confidence in yourself have confidence in this new beginning that you want and this life that you want for yourself yeah don't succumb to any negative thoughts any lower vib vibrational thoughts. Um, try not to get caught up in 
escapism as well for you guys. Um, try not to get caught up in things like uh, spending too much of your money, drinking, um, partying, uh, smoking, stuff like this for you guys. Um, however that resonates, try not to get caught up in any kind of escapism as well. And yeah, just don't allow any negativity or toxicity to take over your thoughts. We have the King of Wands, as well as the Queen of Wands. We have the World, and we have the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck is Justice, and this is that guy that keeps coming out. This is that other one. So, there's like a big karmic reset for a lot of us going on, I believe, uh, around at this time. And with the king and the queen of wands usually a lot of people would depict that as relationship and i would as well but i'm not going to in this sense um i'm seeing this as more coming into balance with yourself we have the king and the queen of wands are both looking at this uh devil energy so you're coming into balance of yourself but you need to make sure you either are being or you need to be again depends what group you're in aware of these toxic traits uh what needs to change again maybe this escapism that needs to be worked on overspending i don't know if i mentioned overspending but yeah i think i did but um be mindful of these toxic traits and becoming aware of what needs to go what no longer is working and resonating in your life and really coming to the end of this uh, cycle. The Fool is the first card, you know, the Zero is the first card in the Major Arcana and the World is the last card. The World represents the end of the Fool's journey. It's coming to completion. Cycles and lessons learn. You have mastered, not mastered life, but you know, you've, you've come to the end of this. You've learned what you needed to uh, in this cycle and in this situation. And now it's time for action. Now is time for movement. Now is time for that change. So, uh, again, two groups. Some of you guys have already started this and it is just a continuation on. Um, be mindful of those toxic traits that you maybe need to cut out. Um, declutter as well for some of you guys. You really need to declutter your space, your home, your social life for some of you guys. Um, and if... So for those of you who have not yet started it, this is what you need to do. You have likely had uh, thoughts and ideas about these new things and you need to just take action on them, okay? All right, take that how that resonates, Leo. Um, if that did resonate, please hit that like button and subscribe because I post on here pretty regularly now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <sighs> okay, for my Virgos out there, let us, let us see what is in store for you guys for February. So straight out, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles, really, um, You've been really laying the groundwork for your future, you guys. You've really um, sort of come to the end of a big cycle in your life. You've come to a close. You've, uh, like I said, really been laying the groundwork. And this is like in terms of, like you've done it all in the spiritual and the mental world. And you've really started to um, take action on that and work on that in the physical world as well. In terms of like your money for some of you guys. And... You've really, yeah, started to come to the end of a cycle. You have the Two of Swords. 
was in store for Virgo for February. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. And Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's summer in your mind. I, I, I did say that, like, you've kind of come into balance. But I think... Actually, what I wanted to say is you needed to... You are needing to come into balance within your mind. There's something in your mind. There's some sort of indecision that you are a little bit stuck on making and therefore you aren't making it. You aren't moving forward. And it's like maybe you are focusing too much uh, in the 3D world and there's something in your mind that needs to become, that needs to come to completion. Let me pull all of these, hold on. We have the Six of Wands, which talks about victory, success, recognition. Ah, oh, right, okay. So you've been doing all right for yourself in terms of the 3D world, uh, like your job might be going all right, you're sort of laying that solid foundation for yourself, like I said. Um, You've really been working hard in terms of your monies and your job and career. Um, but there's something within your mind that needs to be balanced. There's some ways in your mind that you're not necessarily being 100% honest with yourself about. You are needing to be a little bit more open in regards to something. Some of you guys are needing to uh, heal a little bit of forgiveness from someone from your past. So we have Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Sun card. Yeah, there's something to do, and on the bottom of the deck we had the Five of Cups. There's something to do with your past. That there's someone from your past that still needs to be forgiven. Or there's something in your past that you need to forgive yourself about. There's something that still needs to be healed. Something that's maybe been, been being brought up in your mind a lot recently. Um, something that happened... Uh, again, general reading, so can only um, can't be very can't be too specific on it. But something within your mind that needs to come to a balance, and it's kind of like you think you have healed from it, and you think you have dealt with it, and you're sort of not like these thoughts are coming back up in your head, and you're kind of like you don't want to hear it, you don't want to have it, you don't want to hear, see, listen. Um, I hear, yeah, <laughs> um, because you think you've dealt with it, you think you've handled it, and there's still something that needs to be worked on. And once you are able to do this, uh, this is when this, like, that once you're able to get through this, you have the sun card at the end. This is like the best card, and um, this talks about like happiness, fulfillment, uh, renewal, rebirth, like becoming like a new you in a sense. Uh, gaining victory and recognition for your hard work and your commitment. Some of you guys, there is a relationship that wants to come in. Uh, you may not have met this person. This may not necessarily be someone from the past. Some of you guys, it may be someone from the past. Um... Let me get more clarifiers. This Ace of Cups. Uh, this Page of Cups. We have the Moon card. Um, why is the Moon card here? Two 
two of pentacles, yeah, and then bottom of the deck, two of cups. So there's a relationship that's wanting to come in for you guys, but there's some, there's still, like I said, there's something that you need to heal uh, from your past, and it's something that, like I said, you feel that you've dealt with, but you've actually not. And so pay attention to your thoughts, pay attention to what what issues from the past are coming up for re-evaluation and um, recognition. Something that, like the moon card talks about facing your fears, um, facing your shadow as well, and facing your insecurities and your doubts. Maybe you were, you are still holding on to some sort of um, fears from a past relationship. There was some sort of... Um, trust issues or doubt, there was some sort of insecurities caused from a past relationship that needs to be um, fully forgiven and then once that is healed and worked through, I do see a new relationship in store for you guys. So, and I do know that for you guys, Virgo, there is a lot of activity in Pisces this month. Um, and Pisces is your seventh house of relationships and partnerships. So, yeah, pay attention to those thoughts of what's coming up from issues from the past. Pay attention to them, feel them, transmute them and release them so that you can have uh, a, a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning. Okay? Right, I am going to leave that one there for you guys, Virgo. If that did resonate with you guys, please hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned because I am posting on here pretty regularly now. So yeah, bye guys. Okay, for my Libras out there, let's see what's in store for you guys. For February. So we have the Three of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck showing itself is the Devil. The Five of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. The Five of Swords. There's that devil again. So we have uh, the moon card, the page of swords, the death card, and then that devil card. And on the bottom of the deck, what do we have? We have six of cups. This is the only cups energy. So, I see for you guys that there is, with the death card, there's some transition that's going on with your life. And with the three of swords in reverse, I'm seeing that you are finally healing from something that happened in the past. You're finally healing and moving through and away from this five of pentacles energy where you maybe have felt a little bit stuck, a little bit stagnant, a little bit insecure, a little bit um, like you're not getting anywhere a little bit like you times have just been dark and uncertain and unsure and you're sort of getting yourself out of that energy now but you are needing to be really mindful of any sort of codependency um current relationships that you are in that are not fulfilling for you guys um this could just be like even friendships and 
uh, work partnerships, family relationships as well. Um, just be mindful and cautious with certain codependent situations uh, occurring in your life at this time. Um, but I do see you guys really healing from something that happened in your past and becoming a little bit more grounded. For a lot of you guys, you're sort of in your uh, divine feminine energy, which is not, does it really does not matter. We both have masculine and feminine energies within us. Um, but at the minute, you're more in your feminine energy. And the feminine, even though we only have the six of cups, which denotes um, past relationships and stuff like that, uh the feminine energy is like all in her feelings you know she is more sensitive to what's going on and i think this is why as well i'm saying there's healing going on for you guys um she's more in tune with her emotions and we also have the moon card which is about facing your fears and facing your shadow this guy is coming out a lot really um a lot for the other zodiac sign should i say um about facing your fears and your insecurities and your doubts and yeah definitely something from the past um that you are healing from and transcending i'm not necessarily saying that you will come to a full close of this cycle or come to a full resolution of this cycle but you are definitely healing and you are moving through it um and you are definitely transitioning and there will be Just, yeah, healing that takes place. Why do we have the Page of Swords here? You guys um, are needing to just take your time to do your internal reflection and work on yourself. Um, I'm not, re I'm getting, like I said, with the feminine energy, it's all internal, it's all to do with the emotional and the spiritual world and you're needing to turn inwards a lot more um, this month, if or you will be doing and yeah, work on yourself, work on your insecurities, work on your flaws as well, work on where you could have maybe handled situations in your past a little bit better or um, recognising where you maybe again could have handled situations from your past a little bit better and how you are changing through that now. Yeah, so I asked for what a clarifier for the Page of Swords and we got the Six of Swords, which talks about um, moving to calmer times, moving to smoother seas. Um, and then we also got the Star in reverse. So things have felt out of balance. Um, you felt a bit confused recently. Your emotions have maybe been a bit all over the place. Yeah, and you're starting to get definitely get more into your feminine energy and get more into um, in tune with your emotions. Why do I have the eight of ones? I'm not going to take them. I'll take this one. Page of Cups. There's someone else for you guys. Uh, general reading, please take it how it resonates. There's, I think, somebody else that you want to move towards. I said with this card I was getting that you're in a little bit of a codependent toxic situation at the moment um, and 
you're maybe wanting to free yourself from that or you are freeing yourself from that um, but you're wanting to move towards somebody else maybe this is what that six of cups was about You're seeing how, again, things from the past, maybe that's what it's about, things from the past that you needed to maybe handle a little bit different. But we only learn from our mistakes. You know, we only learn from trial and error. You know, we only learn from experience. So don't um, beat yourself up in any way about things that happened in the past because it doesn't serve you, it'll get you nowhere. Um, because you really are transitioning this month. Some uh, slightly heavy energies for you guys, uh, Libras, this month. Um, but overall, it's for the better. And overall, it's to help you um, come out of this time of confusion, uncertainty, insecurity. So do not be afraid of any feelings that come up to the surface for you guys. I have got all my decks here and I have just used the standard tarot deck for all of them. But for you guys, I'm going to get Romance Angels cards and we're going to see what these guys have got to say. Uh, for Libra for February. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together. Some of you guys could have cancer energy in your chart. Uh, <laughs> codependency. Your addictions are affecting your romantic life. What did I say with this devil card? Codependent relationships. Finances and career. Your financial is financial issues are affecting your love life. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So again, like I said, you're maybe wanting to exit this situation. And reconciliation, someone from your past is returning. Again, that Six of Cups energy. There's there's somebody else that from your past that you want, basically. Um, and you're needing to just free yourself from this energy and get in touch with your emotions and recognize what it is that you truly want from your life, who it is you truly want in your life. So for some of you guys, uh, yeah, obviously the finances and career, for some of you guys, money is a bit of an issue and uh, maybe there's some sort of joint assets or some way in which finances are involved in this um, codependent relationship, but you gotta, you gotta uh, pick your battles. I don't know if that's the right term I'm looking for, but you've gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. You gotta do what you gotta do in order to, yeah, with the star card, the star's all about wish fulfillment. And with it being in reverse, it's like, you're just not fulfilled. You're not happy at the moment. You're not where you wanna be. You're not emotionally in the state that you wanna be. Maybe you are needing to communicate something to someone. Maybe you're needing to reach out to somebody and initiate this with this ace of uh, eight of wands it's all about movement action initiation and then with the page of cups you know it's all about you know offering love and offering um your heart and your emotions so <sighs> but on the bottom of the deck we have the sun and the sun is the best card. And then underneath that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is again one of the best cards. It talks about having having it all, you know, having the, the house, the job, the family, the kids, the dogs. You know, it talks about having everything. 
but you, you need to do something about it to get there. It's no good being in your head daydreaming. You could actually do something. So that was a little bit deep for you guys. <laughs> um, I am going to leave that one there for you guys, Libra. I hope that did resonate with you guys. Um, if it did, hit that like button and subscribe. I post on here pretty regularly now, so stay tuned for more videos in the future. All right. Bye, guys. Hi Scorpio and welcome to your reading. Let us, let us see what is in store for you guys for February. We have the Four of Swords, talks about meditation, relaxation, uh, prayers, praying to your angels and guides, take out to de-stress. Sorry if that cut, take time out to de-stress. We have the Judgment card, the Ten of Swords, what did I say about de-stress, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So yeah, you guys have definitely been stressed, could have been stressed about monies, um, could be stressed about your future. Um, we have the judgment, which is the number 20, but it's like two, two X's, which represent 10. And then we have obviously the two tens here. So these cycles are very much closing out. The tens are all about, um, like endings for me anyway. Um, I don't necessarily see 10. So, well, it is endings, but nine is endings nine is about endings and for me personally i see the 10 as being that in between phase in between of uh, you're not at one yet where the new beginning is going to start but you're not at the end you're not at nine either you're like in between so it's like the cycle is like ended but not uh the new one hasn't started yet so you're in this weird void at the minute but know that these times are going to come to completion. This four of swords, this meditation, this time out, this de-stress time, time away from your thoughts um, is really needed for you guys in February. The Justice card, this guy wants to pop up in all readings, apart from Libra's, even though Libra, if this is Libra's card, he has popped up everywhere. So uh, there will be some sort of balance and justice brought to you. We have the Fool card. What's going on Scorpio for February? Queen of Swords. I'm just looking at my dog in front of me and my dog's a Scorpio. <laughs> what else is in store for Scorpio for February? There's quite a few, it will take them all. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands, again, wants to come out a lot. We have the Page of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. And on the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. So, the Eight of Cups talks about um letting something go from your past moving on from your past moving away from something um moving on to better times though but you needing needing to let something go first uh in order to be able to move away it's like you can't um 
move up the ladder if you're holding on to so much weight from the past. Um, there is some sort of new beginning that the universe is wanting you to take. They have been sending you a lot of messages and it's like you've been asking for help in regards to this new beginning even if not necessarily directly asking if you guys don't um talk to your angels but in a sense you have been asking the universe um for help and for guidance in regards to a situation and they're telling you that you need to take that leap now you need to Take that leap of faith and step out of your fears and insecurities and step away from your burdens of whatever you feel is holding you back. And it is time for you to start to see some um, benefit in your life, start to see some reward in your life. You're needing to be more open. The universe are trying to give you these messages. They're trying to send you the help and the guidance and you're needing to be more open and more receptive to receiving that. Pay attention to what advice other people give you. Pay attention to any signs and messages that the universe is sending you through other means, maybe even like through read, uh, readings like this or just through um, other sources. And again, if you are taking that time out to de-stress and to rest, then guidance can come to you. If your head is so clouded, thinking of so many different things, even if it's not necessarily stressed, if you're just thinking about too much stuff, um, you can't like pay attention to the signs that the universe sends you. So you need to just chill a little bit, de-stress, and then these revelations will come to you. Then this guidance will come to you and it will all make sense to you then. Why do we have the Page of Swords in reverse? Okay, I'm gonna get, they told me to get these cards. Uh, I've done this where I've got all my cards here with the intention of, yeah, I can get more just like I'm doing now if I want, if I feel called to. And the only one I've done it for is Libra, um, but, I guess I didn't need to, but they told me to get these cards. So what messages do we have for Scorpio from this angel deck? Uh, Serena, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you will need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So yeah, I was seeing something in terms of money with the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. It's like it is your time to receive, basically. Isabella, yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So yeah, whatever this new thing is, for a lot of you guys, it is new career. Um, some of you guys want to do careers um are ways of making money that maybe just a little bit different maybe a little bit um uncertain maybe are not secure there's a little bit of um fear around it but if it's what you want to do you got to take that leap and you got to do it um you are at the end of a cycle in your life call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step Happiness awaits you now. So, uh, yeah, there's some new beginning that you guys are needing to just have faith in. Don't hold yourself back in places and situations that are not in alignment, that are not fulfilling, that are not making you happy. Don't hold yourself back. Put yourself out there more and go for that new venture, whatever it is. Take that leap of faith. I'm not necessarily saying go all in, fully scrap, um, like if it's a new job thing, I'm not necessarily saying fully scrap this job 
and go all in for another one but I'm saying you need to take some sort of leap some sort of uh, movement in this direction if that is what is needed for you then go for it but you're needing to move away from doubts and self-criticisms I'm hearing for a lot of you guys self-criticisms you Scorpios can be too hard on yourself sometimes um, move away from self-criticisms and be honest with yourself about what it is you want in your life, what life you want, what future you want, what job you want to do. Be honest with yourself about that. Start taking action because you guys deserve to receive some benefit for that, but you're not going to receive it if you don't do it. So, yeah. I'm leaving that one there for you guys, Scorpio. If that resonated with you guys, please hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned. I post videos on here pretty regularly now. So yeah, stay tuned for those. Bye guys. Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your reading. Let us, let us see. I keep messing that up on everyone's. Let's see what's in store for you guys for February. So far we have the Seven of Wands and the Six of Wands. Sagittarius for February, what's in store? We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician. This guy has popped out so many times. I think there's only been like one reading he's not been in. So really needing to take those steps to manifest what we want in our life. Stop battling with yourself about what it is you can and can't do, what it is you can and can't achieve and start moving towards that fulfillment, that financial fulfillment, that financial freedom that you are seeking. Um, some of you guys do some sort of career or some sort of hobby where you work with other people or you work in some sort of spotlight or public eye in some kind of way and you'll start to see some recognition for that. You'll start to see some, people will start to notice the hard work that you have been doing. You have the King of Swords in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles. Things might have been a little bit uncertain for you guys. Um, recently, maybe in terms of job, if you're thinking about changing jobs, um, just in your personal life, things have felt a little bit uncertain, a little bit, I don't want to say bleak, um, but they've, they've felt like you've maybe had a few difficulties and challenges that you've had to overcome recently. Uh, we have the Page of Cups, it came out in reverse, so we'll, we'll see. We have Temperance, we have the Five of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have Justice. And again, this guy has been out in all but one reading. So the universe is really trying to deliver, and the Fool as well. The Fool has been in so many of these readings. Stop battling with yourself about something. Stop beating yourself up about something. Start being honest with those around you about what life you want to have for yourself. Start being honest with those around you now. You've worked on being honest with yourself. Now you need to be honest with others. You're out of balance with yourself in some way. You're not giving to yourself enough. You're not giving yourself um, enough praise. You're not giving yourself enough love. You're too busy trying to give to other people and you're not giving yourself um, enough recognition for um, you know, what it is that you have achieved. Start being... Um, grateful for all that you have manifested all that you have achieved like all that you have in your life start pouring into your own cup and stop worrying so much about others and what other people think and how they view you and start pouring some self-love 
back into you. Yeah, you've definitely been, there's been some sort of issue in terms of other people, another person, uh, a group, there's been some sort of uh, little maybe disagreeances, little little issues um, in regards to other people, but you need to just not worry about them basically and again start focusing on yourself start worrying about the opinions of other people and what they think and just focus on you what cards are we getting going to pull some cards for you guys from the moonology deck What messages do we have for Sagittarius for February? Conclusions are within reach, uh, full moon eclipse, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus, believe in the impossible, blue moon, work through your fears. A uh, new moon in Scorpio. Yeah, and with uh, this full card as well that we have, there is some sort of new beginning that you're wanting to create for yourself, some sort of new life that you're wanting to create for yourself. Maybe you feel that is a little bit out there, a little bit um, unattainable and achievable. Maybe it's a little bit just... Um, you feel like maybe your dreams are too high it's a little bit yeah unachievable for you but nothing is unachievable like it says here believe in the impossible and work through your fears believe that you are capable of having whatever you want we have surrender to the divine on the bottom of the deck and we also have show the world the real you start being really authentic with the people around you now about what life you want about what you want to manifest, about what you want to create, what leap of faith you want to take in some whole brand new direction. It's not worrying about what other people are going to think of it and what they're going to say. And start pouring back into yourself and start giving yourself the love that you are trying to give other people, okay? Yeah. I'm going to leave that one there for you guys, uh, Sagittarius. If that resonated with you guys, yeah. Nine of Swords on the bottom. You've been a little bit stressed and anxious, so just get yourself out of that. Get yourself out of that. Yeah, with a page of pentacles underneath, there's some new venture that you want to take. Some new venture that you want to take, so step out and do it, okay? Or at least take those first steps towards it, okay? All right. I'm going to leave that one there for you guys, Sagittarius. If that did resonate with you guys, please hit that like button and subscribe. I post on here pretty regularly now. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi Capricorn and welcome to your reading. Let's see what's in store for you guys for February. What energies do we have for Capricorn? We have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands talks about like battling with yourself about something. Um, being in your own head about a situation, feeling like maybe other people are against you, but in reality, it's all in your own head. It's because you yourself are putting those self-imposed limitations on yourself. We have the Eight of Pentacles. needing to be more dedicated and committed and a little bit more hard working towards your goals and ambitions this justice card man he's been out for all cards all readings apart from libra and it's a libra card but he has been out for literally every single reading and i am fully shuffling these i put these back in at random each time so 
universe is really wanting to give a lot of justice to all of us. It's a page of cups. Three of pentacles. The Knight of Swords. The Sun card. It was in reverse, but I'm going to just leave it for now and see how I feel about it. And the Queen of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, which is Aries energy. Um, doesn't have to be, doesn't really. Uh, but the Emperor is somebody who takes charge of his life. He takes control. He sees what is not working. He sees what needs to change. He sees where a situation needs um, someone to just take control of it. And I think this is regards to you in terms of your life, in terms of um, what it is you want to be working for or needing to work for. Stop battling with yourself about like I said, self-imposed limitations on why you can't have something, why you haven't started that new thing, why you aren't working as hard as you could be, what, stop making excuses and why you are not working as hard as you could be on what it is you want to have in your life. The universe is trying to deliver you some good, uh, some good news, some karma, some good, like this justice card, it's trying to deliver you some sort of justice in this situation, but it's needing you to get out of your own way in terms of it, it's not other people, it's not what other people will think, it's not about um, how other people are going to view you, it's, it, it's all down to you, this is all battling with your own self about why you are not moving forward. You need to start being really honest with yourself about what it is you need to do and get a structure in place, get a plan in place and get a little bit more. Capricorn is really a uh, hard working energy. You guys are really hard workers. You guys are um, really ambitious and motivated. But I think when it comes to moving towards something that you actually want i think there's some little there's some fears there in case like if it doesn't work out there's that fear of failure in a sense that's there for you guys but you need to do it there's something that you need to communicate to somebody there's some person in your life that you need to be honest with not just as well as being honest with yourself about uh how it is you need to move forward you need to be honest with somebody else in your life about something let's find out Hold on. there's quite a few so i'm going to just flick through all of these ones that turned over but the first one i came out was a seven of swords some sort of deception some sort of deceit maybe some sort of lies something in terms of somebody else that maybe needs to be brought to light. Uh, Eight of Cups, moving away from the past. Nine of Swords, being in anxiety, being stuck in your head, in fears, in doubts. Um, Ace of Wands, about how to maybe move forward and initiate something. Uh, feeling a heavy load of responsibility and burdens on your back. Uh, keeping yourself stuck in fears and anxieties and refusing to move, refusing to see, refusing to get yourself out of this situation and take any action towards something. Uh, something from the past, you may have found out something from the past or something is hurting you and you're focusing on that a lot. We also have the Three of Swords. Uh, I'm definitely getting, yeah, I'm definitely getting for some of you guys you could be in relationships and you maybe have found out something about your partner and you need to confront them about it. You need to talk to them about it. Again, this is a general reading, so please do just take what resonates, how that resonates or applies to you. Um, but there's something you need to talk to someone about. 
Yeah, you need to initiate that conversation and bring some sort of uh, clarity to that situation. Yeah, whatever your intuition has been telling you about this person, about this situation, you need to deal with head on. Mm, yeah, and then underneath that we have the Seven of Cups was poking through. Seven of Cups is about decision. Maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed of the choices that you have to make. But take your time, pause, meditate, reflect, listen to your intuition. Be honest with yourself about what it is that you really need to do. If you have caught someone in a lie or you have become aware of some way in which someone has not been being 100% honest with you or has been deceiving you in some way, you need to be really honest with yourself about what you're going to do about that. Are you going to continue to just stay in this relationship with this person? Is it going to just stay in your head? Are you going to continue to um, act like you're not bothered by it, like uh, it's not affecting you? Are you going to step up for yourself and talk to this person and put some boundaries in place and um, communicate as to why this is affecting you so much? Maybe this is like not necessarily even something that happened recently. This could be something that happened in the past that is still bothering you. It's still in your head. It's still... It still is not healed from. And you need to talk to this person about it. Okay. <laughs> uh... I'm going to leave that one there for you guys, Capricorn. Um, I'm... I can't really say any more on the subject, I don't think. So, um... yeah. We're going to leave that one there for you guys. If that resonated with you guys, um, I hope that you guys can um, come to a solution to this issue that you guys are currently facing or maybe facing in February um but yeah there needs to be some sort of justice brought to this there needs to be some sort of mental clarity brought to this situation all right so I'm gonna leave that there for you guys Capricorn if that resonated with you guys uh hit that like button for me and subscribe because I post on here pretty regularly now so yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned for those. Bye guys. Hi Aquarius and welcome to your reading and happy birthday for all my Aquariuses out there. Um, it is obviously currently Aquarius season, so hopefully a good time for you guys. <laughs> Let's see what's in store for you guys for February. What do we have for Aquarius for February? Okay, I'm not taking these ones because that's too many. We'll take these first two. So we have, uh, they came out in reverse, but I'm going to see how I feel about them. We have the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. We have the Emperor. Aries Energy doesn't, um, doesn't necessarily mean anything, but no, I'm just pointing that out. The Emperor, what else is in store for Aquarius for February? We have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. You guys are needing to like the eight of swords it talks about um being like trapped in fears but it's like you're keeping yourself stuck in these fears you're keeping yourself in these doubts in these um reservations and that because you know if you see in the card she's tied to all those swords but she's tied with like rope or like 
um, some sort of fabric, you know, if she wanted to, she could just cut herself free. But it's like, she's too afraid. She's too afraid to look what's out there. That's why she's blindfolded. She's too afraid to um, see what's out there. She's too afraid to set herself free um, because she's uncertain of what is in store for the future. But these are like self-imposed. These are like, again, keeping yourself stuck in this situation. Free yourself from this mental clarity, uh, mental um, confusion. Free yourself from these burdens that you are carrying because this this time for you is going to be up soon. You're needing to just take a little bit more charge of your life. Stop just letting life happen around you. Start taking charge of some situations. This fool card, man. He just keeps appearing everywhere. <laughs> we have, yeah, yeah, the Nine of Swords, again, being in anxiety. It talks about being up at night, sleepless nights, stressing, stressing about the future. Uh, the Ace of Wands and the Star card. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're needing to take charge of your life. Um... Stop just letting life happen around you. Stop just sort of, um, you're missing out on opportunities as well because you're staying still. You're missing out on opportunities that the universe is trying to present to you um, because it's like, like, see how both of these, their faces and their eyes are blocked. The summit that you don't want to see, the summit you don't want to deal with, the summit that you don't, you're afraid to acknowledge and that needs to be worked through. Maybe, yeah, there's some fears about the future, some fears about a project failing, some fears and reservations about something that you want to initiate, some new beginning that you want to start for yourself, something that you want to do for yourself. Um, there's some fears and doubts about that, but you need to um, release those because ultimately they are it's what you want. Ultimately, it's what's going to bring you happiness and balance and fulfillment. And, you know, you're needing to put some effort and dedication towards that and start um, working and building on it and moving towards it, you know, and don't just stay still anymore. Recognize what you want from life. What, what do you want in your life? What do you want in your future? And take some control and start moving towards that. Don't just sit in fear and anxiety about the future or about your current situation. Step up and realize that it's only you that can impact your life. It's only you that can change your current situation. And you need to take charge of that. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. And we have the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this is about decision. It's about feeling like you don't know what to do, which way to go, feeling out of balance, out of alignment, feeling uncertain. Um, but with the Emperor, is really sticking out and he's really like, he's needing to be like, right, that's it, let's take control, let's um, take charge of our own life, be that authority that we need. Start uh, stepping up into the masculine energy that is the emperor and start taking action you know he gets things done and he is the ultimate like father figure in the tarot deck but start being a father to yourself even if you're even if you're a girl like gender doesn't matter start having that role in your own life basically why do we have the knight of swords in reverse Okay, right, let's tell be guided to get this deck out. I love the cards on this deck as well. They're so beautiful. Look at that top one, purity. So what messages do we have for Aquarius from this deck then, please? So we have abundance, enlightenment, and on the bottom of the deck, 
we have freedom. So this is what you're needing to do is create this freedom in your life. Um, again, all these fears and anxieties, it's only you that can change that. You can't seek comfort um, in other people and other people's words and advice and encouragement. You know, you need to achieve this yourself. And that is like where this enlightenment comes in. And when you can do that and when you can be your own source of light and when you can be your own guidance, when you can be your own um, motivation, you know, that's that's like true enlightenment. That's like true, well, to a, to a, to a degree. Um, but when, you know, you can be your own person and, you know, that again is what freedom is. Free yourself from these thoughts, these doubts, these insecurities, these fears of the future, and whatever new new life you want for yourself whatever new thing you want to do for yourself new project new hobby new career whatever new thing it is that you want in your life you need to stop worrying about it and stop worrying about how it's going to impact your future how it's going to change um your life and just start taking action on it just start doing it again the universe has been trying to offer you um opportunities it's trying to be giving you messages and signals it's been trying to give you some sort of reassurance but you're not seeing it because you're just again in this eight and nine of swords of energy so work through that you guys for this month okay right I am going to leave that one there for you guys, Aquarius. If that resonated with you guys, please hit that like button and subscribe. I post on here pretty regularly now, so stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, Pisces, the last zodiac. I bet you guys must always get a little bit uh, thingy and be in the last ones. But let's see what's in store for you guys, Pisces. The Emperor, that guy is popping out all over the show. We have, we've had so many cards. We've had the Emperor, Justice, the Fool, the Ace of Wands, um, that are all just, I'm putting these ones back, that are all just keeping popping out. Oh, what, what, look, what did I say? <laughs> the fool. Oh, man. He came out in reverse. So I'm going to take it in reverse. Uh, we've got the seven of cups in reverse. We've got the, the six of cups upright. The ten of swords. The two of swords in reverse. What else? What else? For Pisces for February. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. that's too many i'm not taking them but i will take uh the six of pentacles fell out in like literally the right place for the next one and then the page of ones flipped over in my hand so i'll take that one as well on the bottom of the deck we have the world so the world is about completions cycles coming to an end it is the last of the major arcana you know lessons learned um and finally come to the close of something in your life you're finally moving away from uh something in your life that has not necessarily been very easy for you guys you're moving away from a certain time period that has not necessarily been um smooth sailing for you guys uh you've really come out of indecision and you've really started to recognize where you need to move forward, what you need to do, 
you've started to come out of indecision to move forward towards this nine of pentacles energy to move forward with what you want to bring balance back into your life to start initiating projects you really started to or you will be doing to put yourself out there more this month and take charge and take control of your life um you've come out of a phase of indecision and insecurity and um not really sure sure what direction to move in you've come out of a phase of feeling overwhelmed with um what should you do what's the right decision what's the best decision and you've started to just take action and just do it um for some of you there is still some sort of doubts uh in regards to this new beginning but i feel you're just moving through it anyway uh why do we have the six of cups why is the six of cups here page of cups and why is the page of cups some of you guys are making decisions in terms of uh some sort of relationship some sort of um situation with another person you're making decisions now on maybe acting on that maybe that could be giving you some insecurities and some doubts um maybe it's like you uh and then the devil was at the bottom of the deck and um, maybe you have come out maybe you as a choice of whether or not you were going to stick with this person or another person or like whether you should um maybe it wasn't even between two people there was some sort of decision in terms of somebody that you maybe want to be with some sort of relationship with um and it's like you've maybe made your decision on who that is and what you want to do but there's still doubts about it there's still fears there's still insecurities and those are actually holding you back from acting on it and from doing it you're not indecisive anymore I know that you're not indecisive anymore, but you need to um, clear your mind from these insecurities and these doubts and this will really enable you to bring balance back into your life. And once you do that, that's what's really going to We have two sixes, right? We have three sixes. We've got these two sixes right next to each other and then we've got this six here, the six of cups. Sixes talk about love beauty um harmony happiness uh, we have the uh high priestess poking through underneath that devil card so listening to your intuition about what you want in life where you want to go who you want to be with maybe what um decision you know that you need to make and but again there's still some slight fears that are holding you back from doing that Do I want to get another deck for you guys? No. No. Okay. Yeah, there's some, but you have recognised what it is. You have recognised what you need to do. You have recognised that you need to take charge. You have come out of indecision, or you will be doing. But there's still that last little bit that's holding you back from actually taking that leap and actually doing it. Maybe you've decided that you want to reach out and talk to somebody, but then you're too scared to actually do it. Like, and so that prevents you from doing it, but you've made the decision in your head, but in the 3D world, your actions are not aligning with your mind and your thoughts. So whatever you think that you want to do, not what your fears are telling you or your insecurities or doubts are telling you whatever your intuition is telling you that you want to do you need to sort of have faith and take action on those decisions um don't hold yourself back from having what you want to have in life um because especially if this is in terms of another person you don't know what the other person's gonna say they might be very grateful that you took that chance to reach out to them so Ooh, ooh, for some of you guys, it's about ending a relationship. Take it how it resonates. Um, 
I I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave that one there. It's only a short one for you guys, Pisces. Um, but I'm gonna leave that there. If that did resonate, then please hit that like button and subscribe. I post on here pretty regularly now. Uh, don't forget to check out your other uh, signs as well if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll leave that one there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.